Hey, how's it going there? Welcome back. And in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Stolrim Fur Armor mod, which is a creation that adds an alternative variant of Stolrim Armor based on the Blades free to play game. I'm Tiddly Oggy, and I'll be looking in detail at all the mods offered by Creation Club so you can get an idea whether they are worth your hard earned cash or not. If you want to see more reviews and game tips like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please leave a comment or a like as it really genuinely helps the channel out. So first things first, the quest was by the now famous or more likely infamous Chris Takahashi and cost the princely sum of 100 credits which translates into $1 or more importantly around 85 of Britain's finest pennies. Essentially, it's cheap as chips. Anyway, I'm particularly interested in this as I reckon Starum Armour to be the best in the game due to its inherent effects, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can read all about that if you want to, of course. And we'll do this the usual way, a brief run through of the quest, have a look at the stats, and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. On downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your list requesting that you search a camp near the Skull Village, which is of course in Solstheim. And just a heads up for the, those of you new to the game, Solstheim is far more difficult to travel than Skyrim. So if you're a new level, or low level, sorry, I would strongly suggest you take a decent companion with you. Anyway. You have to travel right across the island and once you've located the camp, you'll probably be attacked. Anyway, once you've dealt with whatever's attacked you, then read the note found on the barrel and it's going to direct you to another island actually in a fair distance away. Once you've arrived at this second island, you're going to meet Skjol who is guarding a coffin with a full set of first old rim armour. Now, Skjol is a, a bit of a brute. I mean, I'm really, he's a bit of a brute and especially dangerous for low level characters where he'll probably two shot you with ease. So don't underestimate him at all. But for those of you that followed my suggestions and have a Storm Atrex staff and the staff of Paralysis, he's a cakewalk. Okay, so now we've taken care of that and have the armor, let's take a look. Stolrim armor is a weird one for me. I kind of like it and I kind of hate it. Um, it is actually the best armor you can have in the game with its inherent 25% resistance to frost. Um, and obviously you can enchant on top of that. Um, I think it's a great design, but I kind of hate the bright blue shininess, shininess of it, if that makes sense. But this new version is right up my street. It's rough and worn in, very much like a Solstein version of a Hedge Knight, uh, though it doesn't look that well fitted for the female shape, which is disappointing. And the legs of my character kind of like matchsticks, really. Um, but overall, I quite like it. The textures, though, aren't bad, but they're not really that great either, in my opinion, anyway. So uh, let's have a look at the stats. Of course, uh, bear in mind this armor not only has the inherent storm uh, effects of 25% frost resistance, it also has fur, which will help you in survival mode. Um, but looking at the base stats here, the armor has uh, armor itself has a rating uh, of 51 with a weight of 38. Everything else has a weight of seven. The helmet has an armor rating of 26. The gauntlets have a rating of 21 and the boots have a rating of 21 also, which gives you a total armor rating of 119. Now bear in mind as well, you're always gonna hit the armor cap if you've got decent alchemy and smithing skills and enchanting, blah, blah, blah. But um, still, early on, this is actually quite significant. 
So if we do a side-by-side -side comparison between the uh, fur armour and the standard armour, um, obviously all the weights are the same, so we just go through the armour ratings here. The fur version has a, or helmet has a rating of 26, where the standard has a rating of 22. The fur armour has a rating of 51, the standard 46. The gauntlets on the fur version are have a 20 a one arm rating where the gauntlets on the standard is 17 the boots on the fur are 21 and the arm rating on the standard version is 17 so the fur version has a total arm rating 119 and the standard has a total armor rating of 102 and as i've mentioned before this doesn't matter later on in the game when your alchemy enchanting and smithing uh skills are higher because you're easily going to reach armor reach the armor cap with both sets but initially at the start of the game uh it's pretty damn significant so what do I think of this mod? Uh, I actually kind of like it, and for 100 credits, that's uh, the that's cheapest chips, you know, it's, it's very little money uh, to get a new variant of armor. I personally like the, the rough, rugged and worn-in look, um, though I do think the standard version is much better fitting for the female form, and hopefully they'll amend that, um, because, it, you know, if, if, I hate the matchstick legs on, on this one. But overall, I do like it. I don't think the detailing is that fantastic uh, when you get close up, but most players don't do that. I obviously do because I'm taking videos and stuff. Um, so all in all, I, I think uh, for 100 uh, credits, why, why not? And if you're playing survival mode, yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's definitely worth getting. So all in all, yeah, you can't argue with the, the value of 100 credits. And uh, I think it's a, a quite a decent looking piece of armour. But anyway, this is just my opinion. But all uh, opinions are subjective and everyone has a different opinion, so you may like it, you may hate it. But anyway, my job here is to actually give you enough info to decide whether this armour is actually worth spending your hard-earned cash on or, or not. And I hope I've done that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you later.